We have a 2006 EasyGo TXT. This one here is a crank no start. I've already done the work on this cart, but I didn't realize when I was recording the intro like I am now that I forgot to hit the record button. So we're gonna pretend like we never did the work. I'm not gonna step on the pedal because it's gonna fire right up. But this one here, as you'll see in the video, has some uh, carburetor issues, fuel and water in the fuel, and we change the fuel filter. So we also have to see what else the customer wants to do with it after I give them my report. Uh, so let's get into it. You see the separation? See there's a lower, la lower level and there's an upper level. There's water in the fuel. But yes, that is our problem. I don't even have to really diagnose it. There's water in the fuel. There's water in the fuel line, so we gotta flush them out. We gotta pull the carburetor and clean it. We gotta flush the fuel lines out, make sure we get all the, the water out of it. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's jump into it. What I like to do first is get that ready. I'm going to remove our fuel line first from the carb. We've got the transfer pump. And then we're going to transfer this fuel into our drain pan. And this will be for basically flushing the system out. Or at least partially flushing the system out. All right. You can see I have a just a 12 volt electric fuel pump. Nothing fancy. Oh yeah. There's a lot of junk in that. A lot of water in that fuel. Very milky and cloudy. Okay, now it's starting to become gasoline again. All right, let's stop the pump. I'm gonna unhook it from our supply. Uh, we still have to change our fuel filter here because it's, I don't know if you can see me down here. It's pretty gnarly, so let's change it. Let's get the carb off. Wow. Does not want to come off easy. careful because this is all plastic in here because you know plastic works really good around hot engines typically they have a anti-tamper plate or anti-tamper device you have to drill the rivets out to get it in get to get at it and get it out of the way awesome it's okay I have a grabber I can get that Spark arrestor plate out. Lock washers on here too, don't forget about those. You don't tear the gasket. Get down out of the way. 
And you can't get this off without taking out the 10 millimeter bolt right here, the bolts to the top of the head you have to take out. Just loosen it up. Not a fan of easy go golf carts, especially the new ones. There we go. And parts are now on the ground, but that's okay, we'll get them. You also have to disconnect your choke, 7 millimeter. You can. You get in here at the pliers and you hold on to cable stay and then you loosen up the screw. Once you get it finger loose you can just back it out and then pull the choke out. One removed carburetor after all that fighting around. Oh yeah, I can definitely see the water in there already. So let's get it apart. See, this is the reason why it does it. See how it's all condensated on the outside? That happens on the inside and it gets in the fuel. Twelve millimeter. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the separation of fuel and water, basically right in the middle there. Alright, so now we pull the pin out for the bowl, lift the bowl out, or the float rather, the, the pin for the float. Don't lose your float valve. Got to remove the main jet. There's the main jet. That's pretty much everything you need to remove. There's nothing else. Got your carburetor cleaner. Your overflows. You don't always have to put this in a ultrasonic cleaner or anything like that. Try to watch out for that. I'm trying to keep the carburetor cleaner off of it. Sometimes, sometimes it's just not possible. This is just a really terrible design as far as I'm concerned with the easy goes. They used the Robin engine and the earlier versions of the Robin engine with the cast iron exhaust manifold was the much better motor as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a 
Not a fan of this engine at all. Same motor, but they have a, the exhaust manifold is all part of the engine. It's all aluminum, and it strips out very easily. Ask me how I know. And it's not because of something I did. Previous repairs that were done to it, people got a little crazy with their repair methods and over-tightening things. Cause it to fail. I'm going to be gentle with this stuff. This screwdriver fits perfectly down inside that shaft without touching the threads. And it's the full width of that slot, in case you were wondering. thing to keep in mind now this float has a slot for the float valve some carts have just a free floating valve and this one has a T slot very important and we'll blast it off one more time once we get it installed here Get this residual dirt off. Okay, I'll just flush out the throat. Ready to go back in. Okay, I just repositioned the drain on the fuel line side. Normally that's where I point it. I don't know why I didn't when I first put it back together. Brain fart, I guess. Okay. Oop. 
power. Throttle linkage. Line up the choke. Cable. The cable gland. We'll tighten it down after we get everything set so we can reset that position. One thing you gotta watch out for is the spacers like to jump out as they just did on me. So I can get everything lined up, I'm gonna start a couple of Remember, not too tight. So there's only aluminum or magnesium or whatever the hell it is. Another terrible design by Easy Go. Not a good design at all. See, the reason why they did this is because some people <coughs> were making adjustments to things they shouldn't be making adjustments to. that has caused EasyGo to react. That is probably Okay, there's that. New fuel filter, let's see if it starts up. Is it neutral? Truth. We'll put the prime in the system. We'll prime in. Filters full. This is one of those parts that's cranked out to the max. I just have to adjust the part. Control. Do that now because that's really difficult to do.
seems to be running pretty good now. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you enjoy my content, and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.